What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you a demonstration of how Minecraft works as well as give you instruction on how to get it. Let's start with the instruction. So type this in inside a terminal, it could be LX terminal inside the graphical user interface. I recommend LX terminal because you have to go in the graphical user interface for the game to load up. So type this in first and then enter it in and then type this in. This should take less than a minute to do the whole thing depending on your internet connection. You do have to be connected. And then inside the graphical user interface, to access the game, go to the directory mcpi. And then to open Minecraft, type in dot slash Minecraft dash pi. This is how you will able to open it up. To open it up, go to the directory cd mcpi and then dot slash Minecraft dash pi to open it up. So for this demonstration, I have the Raspberry Pi overclocked to a gigahertz and the RAM to 650 megahertz. If you can remember, the Raspberry Pi stock clock is 700 megahertz and the memory clock is 400. So I was able to overclock it safely to 1 gigahertz and uh, 650 megahertz for the memory without having any problems. So this works actually m much better than I thought. For what you could get with a $35 computer, this is truly impressive. I'm not sure if you will be able to play survival mode or multiplayer, but this is a demonstration of creative mode. It actually works very well. This works, this plays better than most computer or most older laptop. Uh, my laptop that I use on a daily basis can't even do this because this does require a lot of horsepower from the processor as well as the GPU and the Raspberry Pi is able to play a full Blu-ray rip video so it does have some graphical advantage and it is able to play uh, games such as Minecraft and it it just works. Uh, I haven't really noticed that much lag where it's hindering the performance or hindering my gaming experience uh, as as you could see i'm playing in creative mode uh creating my house and it's not even that bad it's getting a very decent frame rate at one gigahertz and I'm, and i'm able to do whatever i want without having any noise on the background because raspberry pi is uh passively cooled so now let's take a look at the temperature so right now, the current room temperature is 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and I do have a heat sink or a heat spreader on the Raspberry Pi. So I'm getting about 50 degrees Celsius, uh, staying around 48 to 55. Uh, if you're playing in full screen, it's going to dramatically increase, but if you're playing in windowed mode, uh, I noticed that the temperature was about 41 to 44 degrees Celsius. So you're going to notice a huge difference. Uh, I've also tried it with really high room temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit and that's when I saw the uh, the Raspberry Pi temperature goes up to 60 de degree while playing Minecraft but you shouldn't have any problem because this does cost only $35 if you do mess it up completely you could buy another one that's pretty much all thanks for watching